Where do you see dropouts going in the future? I see us hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, just keep getting bigger and bigger. Like, obviously, we would love to be number one on uh, at least the comedy charts. Do you know, know what, what was the highest you ever peaked? I think right now we're at nine or ten. That's crazy, Jared. Yeah, I know. That's really crazy. It's, it's stupid. The dude. entire planet, you're nine. <laughs> yeah. Who's above you? Um, people like Caller Daddy, Theo Vaughn, Joe Rogan. Well, that well, he, he's not comedy. He's not comedy. But uh, on on the overall charts, I think we're at like thirty nine or thirty eight or something like that. Of all podcasts. Of all podcasts. Um, but comedy, you know. Uh, you guys are above everyone else in your circle. Yeah. So actually, I think I think uh, pretty unfiltered, like their new one. Um, I think they're above us now, which makes sense. I mean, Zane, Heath, Remy, Ashley, you know, uh, it, it just like it just makes sense. And so uh, or Alicia, not Ashley. Um, Ashley is my favorite. one. <laughs> and so, yeah, I think they're above us. But for the most part, yeah, above everybody else which is it's so it's dumb it's stupid it doesn't do you, feel real do you guys keep getting guests going forward with tara and zach oh yeah yeah yeah, 100 percent. so like we we just had tana on um we are bringing uh quinlan blackwell back next week well we already filmed but it'll come out next week and then from there it's just we want to get like bigger and better guests so when we go to new york um uh, Sal from Impractical Jokers has already said that he's down to do it. And we also had Chrissy D on uh, like last year when we went to New York. And then um, even this is huge for me because I'm a big flagrant fan. But Andrew Schultz said he's down to come on. And so we're going to try to get him when we go to New York, which is just huge. You know, like that flagrant in itself was like a big North Star for a while and still is, you know, just the way um, that they run their business and run their show so that's kind of surreal for me i can't imagine many people turning you guys down with the numbers you're getting now you yeah you'd be surprised you know like there's some people that just like uh some of the humor doesn't line up with like their public image you know and the thing is is like our whole mantra of dropouts is like we just want it to sound like friends hanging out you know and uh sometimes you say like crass jokes with your friends when you think that like nobody's listening or whatever and yeah it's just like zach always likes to say it's all about intent like obviously you know we joke about like Tara, where'd you wake up this morning? And it's like, obviously we don't think Tara's like a bop or a slut or whatever you want to call her. You know, it's just like a funny joke amongst friends and some people that doesn't line up with how they want their public image being seen. As the editor of dropouts, do you have a gauge of what you can let slide through and what you have to cut out? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And so like the thing one of the cons about being an editor uh, or being the editor for dropouts um, and also one of the pros is just like I while we're filming, I'm constantly thinking about the 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 edit and how it's going to flow. And like if I need to if, you know, Zach or Tara, you know, says something that we need cut out, I'm like, OK, where's the stop point where I'm going to start the cut? And then where's the end point, you know, and uh but yeah, I've definitely built up a gauge uh, of what's what's allowed, what's passable, and even some stuff that like Zach thinks is fine. I'm just like, I'll cut it anyway because I'm just gonna save us from the nightmare of, of letting this fly. So going forward, some insane guests. Hopefully, yeah. You'll definitely get Sal. He loves podcasting. He loves podcasting, and then he's you know he's seen clips of the podcast and he loves it we you know like i said we had chrissy d on who's like one of his podcast partners and so um yeah hopefully hopefully he does it andrew said he's seen some of the clips and who else he, is a dream guest of yours oh i mean like theo um you can't I, get him i'm sure we could i think it's just like a scheduling thing because i think he's based in nashville now oh i thought he was still la i think he has like a studio here still um but like Honestly, so many comedians uh, are on our list because uh, Zach and I, or even Tara now, it, like we're all just huge fans of stand up comedy. And so, uh, so like Theo, we'd love to get, I would love to get Tom and or 
uh, Christina on because like I've been a fan of their podcast for so long. Um, and then I love uh, when you guys had Bobby on, dude. Bobby was such a dream. So funny. He's so funny and just like he. I mean, he commands every room that he walks into, you know, like he just has that kind of personality and uh, like just the fact that like he like making me take off my shirt and like hug each other for two minutes or something in complete silence. Like it's hilarious. So we got to do a follow up episode with him. I would love to get Santino on um, because Bad Friends is another like podcast that we're huge on. So um even in the the flagrant realm like akash would be great to have on um uh like uh trevor wallace and uh michael what's his name um the the, the other uh host on stiff socks um I can, he has a funny name i can't remember what what it is but l- would love to get him on so yeah there's just a lot and then even if we can go up into like a list, B list, you know, celebrities, actors, people like that. Um, yeah, it would just be it, like if we could get like Ryan Reynolds or uh, Zach is, well, I don't know if this is public knowledge, but um, but he's doing some work with Rob McElhenney's uh, company, uh, one of them. And so we actually just ran into him at a Lakers game the other day. You ran into Rob? Yeah. That's and cool. And so, like, would love to get him on any of, like, the It's Always Sunny cast. There's so many people. 